Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about a little bit more about loader's number and specifically what makes loader's number so big and what's its secrets. So as you know, I have uh, already have a video on loader's number a few years ago and if you haven't watched that, uh, I think you should watch that first. But basically a lot of people, including myself, is still you know trying to understand uh, loader's number and why is it so big what's the secret so in this video i'm trying to explain a little bit more about that uh, at least i try to explain it in layman terms and as you know anything bigger than grams number is pretty much uh, kind of difficult to explain or understand uh, so this is kind of a follow-up video on that and as you know uh, lotus number is one of the largest computable numbers it's way 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 bigger than scg 13 or 33 and of course grams number uh, and basically is this over here d5 of 99 that's lotus number it basically means d d d d d 99 with five d's so you iterate the d function for five times so we're gonna look at what exactly is the d function here um, of course i simplified it a little bit so basically it's based on the calculus of construction which is related to define and replace programs and it is as powerful as Turing machines so here, quickly give you an idea of how powerful it is. And the calculus of construction, basically, if a program is uh, if a program is created in k steps, it will terminate in at most f of three k number of steps. So f three k here is the fast growing hierarchy. And the calculus of construction, it contains programs uh, that grow at fa as fast as the good steam sequence. And in fact, the second place of this contest, uh, this thing over here, is actually based on the Goodstein sequence, so that's why Loader's number becomes the first place. And um, as you know, the contest, uh, you have to build a C program with 512 characters or less. Um, so that's why uh, loader's number is basically uh, it simplify it simplify a lot and a lot of simplifications are used. So how simplify is that basically a k number of operations in calculus of constructions can take around two to the two to the k number of steps in loader C. And um, so what exactly is the dn function? So the n function basically simulates all programs that can be made in n number of steps. So this is the basic idea. You can pause the video and di try to digest it a little bit. And basically what it means is that the d99 calls d of uh, 98, which in turn is called d of 97, which in turn is called d of 96, etc. And, et and basically... Uh, What's the final output of D99 in this case? So well, basically, the final output is that you just put all of these outputs together. So D of 98 and D of 97, D of 96, blah, 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 blah. You put all these outputs together. And so in that case, how big is D of 99? So by analyzing how many times D is called recursively, then we can actually prove that D of 99 is at least bigger than 2 double arrow 30,419 and this thing over here is basically means 2 to the 2 to the 2 to the 2 to the 2 da, 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 for 30,419 levels so this is a very very big number and this is basically means you know n here is 99 so basically it simulates all the programs that can be made in 99 steps so therefore this is just a very weak lower bound you know in 99 steps you can basically pick it build a very big number and at least this big um, but for small numbers of n you know you may not get a extremely extremely big number but still d of 99 still kind of big I know this is not as big as Graham's number, but remember, this is just a lower bound. And that's D99. So what about D of D99? So D of D99, as you know, is going to be way, way, way bigger than D99. So for small n, it may not be very big, but for large enough n, it will surpass basically many, many big numbers, which includes, we even includes 3, 3, for example. So D of D99 basically simulates all programs that can, can be made in this number of steps. So of course, as you know, this is a very, very big number. Uh, 
So try to imagine, you know, it simulates every single program that can be made in this many steps. And of course, this clearly includes the Goodstein sequence, probably even include the tree sequence and the SCG. Because these functions here, although they are very powerful, but they don't nowhere near this many steps to build these uh, programs. As you know, the number of atoms in the observable universe is only 10 to the power of 80. This is way more than the number of atoms in the observable universe. And that's only D of D99 with two Ds. And therefore, this one with two Ds is already way, way, way bigger than the second place, which is based on the Goodstein sequence. So this is what actually what the D functions mean in simplified form. So you can digest it a little bit. And now this is with two Ds. Now imagine with five Ds. So three Ds basically simulates all the program that can be made in this many steps. And as you know, this is an unimaginably big number. I don't know, I think probably bigger than G3. <laughs> so it's with three Ds, then it simulates all the programs that can be made in basically more than three, three number of steps. So as you can imagine, it's an extremely, extremely big number, already way bigger than, you know, SCG tree. And that that is with three Ds. So, but Lotus number, as you know, it has five Ds over here. And that's what makes it so big, you know, even it is believed to be way bigger than anything you can build, even with the BEAF. So therefore, this is um, my quick video on what makes Lotus number so big. I try to explain it in layman terms. I know it's kind of difficult, but anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.